Hey and welcome. I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to set up multiple guests on stream fast and easy with no discord needed. And before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. For this, we'll be using a website called VOD Ninja with OBS. This will allow anyone with a mic or camera and a web browser to join on the stream as a guest. They won't need discord or any third party software. And so far in my testing, the performance and quality have been excellent. To get started, all we're going to need to do is go over to VOD.Ninja. You can get there by typing it in Google or going to VOD.Ninja and it should bring you right to the website. Once here, it's going to give you a couple options, a few things to click through. It'll tell you a little bit down here about VOD Ninja. It's 100% free, no downloads, no personal data, etc, etc. And there's a little drop down menu here that will open up the rest of the options. The one we're going to use in this here example is create a room. So this is going to be for like if you're going to have one person or more on stream. This is going to be the option you want, but there is other things that you can pick here and check through and test out if you want to. For this example, we're going to use create a room. In here, it's just going to ask you some basic information. It's going to say create a room. Uh, rooms allow a group chat and tools to manage multiple guests. It'll say room name. You can just type in any random room name, uh, password, and it'll say here the guest can see the director but not the other guests. So this will allow the guest to only see you and not the other guests in the chat. So if you're trying to save on bandwidth and not send it to everybody, you can click that. Uh, for this example, I'm gonna leave these here unchecked and the director will be performing as well. So if you were gonna have a single scene without your mic added to it, keep in mind without your mic included so that when you add it into OBS, it'll have all the sources. You'll still end up probably getting feedback from your own voice. So I actually don't suggest clicking this one here. I'm not quite sure how to make that work correctly. So I leave these here unchecked and you can pick your preferred video Kodak. Mine is H264 because it seems to be the most reliable. Okay, so all you need to do is type in some random stuff here for your user's name. But before we get too far into it, I'm on VOD Ninja. Now there is some modifications. If we click the back here and scroll down, and at the very bottom here, it'll say site update February. If you have new issues, the previous version is here and the upcoming next version is here. So what we're going to do, because it does add some functionality, is we're going to click here on the next version. This is going to bring us to VOD Ninja Beta. We're going to go back through the same process. We're going to click on the room and in here, it's going to have an auto generate over here. So this is only the, the real only difference I've found so far. So for your room name, you'll be able to just click auto generate and then you'll have a name. You don't need to put in the password, but if you don't want people from stream to see this here room name and then just spam enter it. So if your chat's pretty big, put in a password so only the people that get invited can join. That being said, we're just going to leave it blank for this example. And down here in the default, we're going to change this to H264. From here, it's just pretty straightforward. We're just going to enter the rooms control center in the director's role. There is the join the room as a participant rather than the director. I don't suggest that unless you don't have any other audio sources going. If you have OBS open, I definitely suggest the top one. So that's one we're going to use. Okay, this here screen is pretty basic. It's going to give you two, two links. One, you can invite guests and the other one is to capture a group scene. For this one here, we want to copy this here link. We're going to open our OBS. We're going to click on the add a source. We're going to add a browser source and we're going to call this one here VOD Ninja so that we know what it is. We're going to paste that link right in here and we're going to make this, keep this in mind, make it 1920 by 1080. I had some weird things with the sizes and stuff. So just keep that in mind. I think 1920 by 1080 will get you the best results and you just resize it after you do this. We're going to scroll down. We're going to click the checkbox for shutdown source when not visible and refresh browser source when active and then click OK. Another thing we're going to do is down here, we're going to click on where it goes out of the scene. We're going to go to transforms and we're just going to fit the screen. Then we'll drag it. Push shift so that it stays square. And we're just going to put it right there for now. Okay, now that we have it added to our scene, we'll go back to VOD Ninja. For this next here part, it'll show down here. It'll say enable director's microphone and video. Only guests will see this feed. So only the guests will see this feed. I don't think it goes to the stream. So we're going to click this here on and this is going to give you some more options. It says the video source is disabled. We're going to put the Aver Media. Uh, we don't have a video. We don't have a camera hooked up to it right now because I have the video hooked up to my other computer so that I can call myself for this example. Everything else in here, we're going to leave default. The director's solo link. This is so that you could put it in your scene separate from everything else. Other than that, there's some video 
and some audio things in here. I'm not going to go through any of that. We're just going to close the settings because the stock ones are fine for us. We're going to go here, copy this here link, and we're going to send this here to somebody. Okay. okay. We can hear me twice. Boom. There we go. So if you hear yourself back, just click mute and scene. That should fix that their problem. There's a lot of options here. You can click through. There's more scene options and additional options. I suggest leaving those clicked open so that you can deafen, hide guests, blind guests. In here, you'll be able to pick the quality. So you can have low quality preview, disable video preview, or high quality preview. I suggest leaving this here preview on very low quality because over an OBS will absolutely look just fine. And if we have two people, it would show the other person in here. There's settings for that. We'll go back here to VOD Ninja and we're going to click here in the settings, make sure everything's good in there. And then in this here room settings, in here we can change the room settings like the kilobytes. We can highlight the director. So if you click this here, it will only show me on the screen instead of the other guests. The guests wouldn't be able to see the other guests like this here unless they were looking on your stream. There we go. That's all the settings really in there. That's all there is. Over in OBS, it's only going to show my other camera. It's not going to show me because I clicked that setting off when I first set up this here room. If you put include the director, it would show both in here. And I can go back and show that, but this is it. Now, if you add more people to the call, just give me a second while I add more people to the call. Okay, and when you're joining on anything else, when you're accepting a link, it will give you two options. It will say join room with camera or screen share with room. So you'll be able to have the option to either screen share or share your camera. We're going to click allow on the phone and there we go. We're just going to click start and there we go. I have all the same mic, so this is a little bit jarring. This here will look like this. I invited another guest and this is what it looks like. I had to move it away from the camera a little bit because it's using the same mic. I'm all in the same room. I didn't have anybody to include with this here video. This is what it's going to look like when someone else is at it. And you can, you can change this here size and it's going to auto adjust the videos to fit in the right spot. If you invite somebody else, it will make the right room and the correct space and put them where they're supposed to be. And to the viewers on the other end of VOD Ninja, it will look very much the same. We'll go back to VOD Ninja and I just wanted you to keep in mind that if, if you had more than one mic, you would unmute these. I just have them muted because I have all of the same devices in the same room. So you would definitely unmute these so that it would come through and you would be able to hear the sound. But you play with these here settings a little bit. This is as easy as it is. You can just send out this here link just as easy as just you just copy that link, paste it in here. It's going to load up. It's going to ask you these two options, share your screen or share your room. You, I, I'm going to click share my screen for this here time, just one time share to screen and then we're going to mute right away because it's all using the same mic so just one second okay so as you've seen it will share the desktop bigger than the two pictures and it'll stack them the it'll be on the right side and it'll put both of your camera feeds on the other side so it will definitely pick the desktop first over the other ones so there's another thing to keep in mind but like i said that's as easy as it is i just had to click a link boom instant people instant sound you might have to deafen some people depending. I think you have to deafen yourself each time if you add yourself to the scene. I'm one person in a room using all the same mic and I had to unmute and mute guests. So that is something that you might have to worry about. If I mute the guest, you can mute in scene so that they're not in the scene. So you can mute guests in here and you can mute them in the scene so that they're not going through to the scene. So that's something that you may want to do as well. For this here example though, we're just going to leave these here muted or my mic will keep coming through whoa, 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 whoa. but that's all you need to do guys is just unmute these you leave these here stock this should be good all stock and you will be able to add to scene one it may give you other options depending on how many things you have set up and what kind of room you create it there's lots of other options down here to go through so i definitely suggest checking them out there i don't think there's an easier way this year way you don't have to keep adding a bunch of windows you don't have to recapture your discord you don't have to worry about when the windows aren't fitting in correctly this is just going to put it in that square window whatever size you want it is going to jam them all in the right size it's going to put them together like a jigsaw puzzle i absolutely love it and like i said the quality is great it shows up great it shows up great in obs it shows up great online the only reason why it doesn't look good in here is because i actually go down here and i actually select the low quality because if you start using up 10 streams worth of high internet quality you may have some issues while streaming so i definitely suggest leaving this on for every single one of them
but that's it guys that's all there is to it after that you should be all set up to have as many people as you want on stream excellent video quality excellent sound quality actually pretty easy to set up so i definitely want to hear back from you guys what you think if i missed anything at all definitely leave something in the comments did this make it easier for you was there something that i left out was there something that was a little complicated or you run across and had some questions and how did you end up using this are you using this for podcasts let me know down in the comments below i appreciate all the feedback that i can get and if i forgot or left something out definitely leave it in the comments below and if you like or found the video helpful hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content thanks for watching